Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on Modern Warfare and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the FN SCAR 17 in the game. Uh, the SCAR is a really awesome gun. I love this thing. A lot of people have mixed feelings about it. Uh, it's one of those guns where at the beginning when you don't have any attachments it's really really garbage but once you get some attachments it can actually be very very powerful and hopefully with this class setup you'll be able to dominate. So as you guys can see in the bottom left you guys will see what our stats look like once everything is added. The only thing we're sacrificing is, is the mobility and a little bit of control, which isn't too big of a deal. With this weapon, you want to tend to play more defensive anyways. This isn't a very good uh, rushing gun. Obviously, there's not a lot of ammo and uh, and it's pretty slow, so it's not a big deal that we're going to sacrifice a little bit of mobility and control, but we are going to buff our accuracy a lot. We're going to buff the damage a little bit and then the range a slight amount. Um, the thing about the scar is that the accuracy is, is all right. It's not awful. Um, but it's not the best, which is why I wanted to buff the accuracy and have it be able to do well at, at long distances. Obviously, uh, buffing the range is going to help with that. And the gun is already very, very powerful, so just buffing our damage is going to make this thing melt people even more. So this gun is absolutely insane. You're going to do a lot of damage with this thing once you unlock all of these attachments. Uh, so we're not running a muzzle, we're not running a barrel, and we're not running a laser. The first thing we're going to run is the optic, and this is more of a personal preference. I'm using the LP945 Mini Reflex. I've said this in most of my videos. Videos. I really enjoy the mini reflexes. You can use whatever you want. Um, obviously, we're going to buff our accuracy with this one, um, and I really like using this. So you can use whatever one you want, but I like the Cronin mini reflex. Um, we're not going to be running a stock. We're going to be using an underbarrel. We're going to use the Commando foregrip, which is actually the first one that you unlock, um, which is better than most of them, to be quite honest. And uh, with that with that one, we're going to obviously get recoil stabilization and aiming stability. That's going to buff our accuracy, buff our control a little bit so that we don't lose too much control. And, uh, and that's what's actually knocking down our mobility and, and buffing our range a little bit. So Commando foregrip is going to be the underbarrel that we're using. Uh, under ammunition, we're going to be running the 30-round mags. And the reason for that, is because there's not a lot of ammunition in each magazine. So it's nice to be able to have uh, 30 round mags so that if you get in gunfights where there's more than one person, you can actually take out both people. Now, next we're going to be running the, uh, the rubberized grip tape for our rear grip. This has obviously recoil control. This is what's going to buff our accuracy a little bit more. Um, and I really like this thing. The only thing you're sacrificing is a little bit of aiming stability, which is obviously what's knocking down our control. Um, but I like this a lot. It, it really helps you out when uh, it comes to getting in those, those gunfights that are more long distance. Obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, the scar is not very good from a really long distance. So having that accuracy buff is going to help us out when we get in those types of gunfights. Last but not least, we're going to be using the FMJ perk. As most of you guys know that watch most of my class set of videos, FMJ is very, very clutch, especially when you're on the assault rifles with this scar. This thing is so deadly that while running the FMJ, you should be able to kill people with like two or three shots through the wall if someone runs around a corner or if someone's head glitching a wall area or a trash can, whatever it may be. Um, this is going to help you out significantly. Now, unfortunately, FMJ is the last perk that you unlock with the SCAR, so it might take you a while to get there. But once you get there, you know it will be worth it. But these are the attachments that we're going to be running on the SCAR. Secondary really doesn't matter. I've been using uh, the Deagle a lot recently. Also, uh, the GS, I guess is what it's officially called. Um, but it's super good. You can whip this baby out and hit somebody one time and take them out. Um, and then perk-wise, we're using EOD, Take Reduced Damage from Non-Lethal Killstreak Explosives. I use this because with this weapon, I tend to play a little bit more defensive. I don't like to rush around with this thing. So, you know, when I, when I deal with grenades coming at me from a distance, uh, I don't have to worry about that with EOD. Obviously, running Ghost, you should always run Ghost. There's really nothing else you should run as your second uh, perk unless we're running a different weapon that might require something else. But we're going to be using Ghost. The third perk that I'm running is shrapnel. I like having an extra piece of lethal equipment. Most of the time I use frag grenades, and when I'm using this thing, I, like I said, I, I tend to play a little more defensive, so uh, if I'm playing headquarters or domination, I'm going to stay back a little bit and try to play from a distance and help my teammates out by getting some eliminations, so having two frag grenades is going to be very, very clutch, especially if the enemy manages to get on the flag or in the headquarters. Having two grenades is going to be really awesome and uh, and help you to, to get further and, and win more in the game, but uh, anyway. Anyway guys, that is the class setup um, for the SCAR in Modern Warfare. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add, make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see all you guys in the next video.